I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 276, where I'm going to talk and share with you two things that go great together. That is Quantrix Modeler and Root Beer. I absolutely love Quantrix Modeler. It makes my day every day because I use it. And then another thing that I absolutely love is premium crafted root beer from the rootbeerstore.com. I, I love it too. And it makes my day every day that I can kick back one of these nice ice cold root beers and enjoy it. And then anytime, of course, that I can use a Quantrix Modeler makes my day. So today, man, that was really good. So today I'm going to combine two of my favorite things, root beer and Quantrix Modeler. How do you do that? I have here a Quantrix model and I am a member of the Root Beer of the Month Club from the rootbeerstore.com where I get shipped uh, root beers each month. And what I'm going to do is I want to keep track of what root beers I've consumed and I want to give them a score as far as how well I like them. That way, you know, I can go back and I can really enjoy those ones that I enjoyed the first time around. So I decided, you know, this would be a great thing to do with uh, Quantrix to create a scorecard that I could then upload to the cloud and wherever I'm at enjoying a root beer, I could also go ahead and I could log that into my root beer scorecard model and I could keep track of, you know, my favorite root beers or my least favorite root beers, if there is such a thing. Actually, there is. As you can see, I gave a, a score of one to the Peace Tree root beer. Anyway, so I have this uh, model here in Quantrix, and I want to upload it to the cloud. How can I do that so that I can then, uh, you know, update this model mobily? What I would do is I would simply go up to cloud. I would publish to cloud. And I would step through the wizard here uh, with my credentials. And I can have this root beer scorecard model. I'm just going to go ahead and publish it. And then I'm going to copy the link to this. And I'm going to go over to my internet browser here. I'm going to paste that in. Then what happens is I now have that model available to me on the internet so I don't have to be tied down to my PC. I can actually fill this also out on my uh, mobile phone. And so I have this new root beer that I'm consuming here on the podcast. It's called Steelhead. So I just simply go out here and put in Steelhead. And I would put on today's date that I'm consuming it, which would be 2-5 of 2019. And, you know, I'm really liking the Steelhead Root Beer. I'd probably like to try it again. So I'm going to give it actually a score of 5. And then if I want to exit, I can go ahead and click Home. So on today's podcast, I just wanted to show you how great Quantrix can be used for everything. It can be used for drinking premium uh, handcrafted root beer from the rootbeerstore.com. And I invite you to try... Uh, using Quantrix for your day-to-day -day activities and for your day-to-day -day hobbies, if you will. And if you have any questions about root beer or about Quantrix Modeler, I do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com because I absolutely love Quantrix. I do want to make you a Quantrix Master. And I love premium root beer. So... Join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.